everyone and welcome back to Live Laugh Birds where we live and laugh with birds. I just assembled this awesome cage. Any guesses as to why I have it? This cage is really, really well built. It's great quality and I really recommend it. So the link to where I bought this cage will be in the description. This is the HQ flight cage. The dimensions are 32 by 21 by 35 inches, not including the stand. This is a perfect cage if you're getting a smaller parrot, like a budgie, lovebird, cockatiel, conure, quaker, Indian ringneck, or parrotlet, any bird of that size, this cage will be great for. So we've got the cage, it's all assembled, and now we need to set it up because there's nothing inside, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's not your cage, Ducky. Who's so cute? So when you're setting up the cage, the first thing that I like to start off with is the perches. So we've got perches, lots of perches. So whenever you buy a bird cage, they're always going to come with these standard long wooden perches. These are called dowel perches and you don't want to use them in your bird's cage. What you'll notice about these dowel perches is that they're very smooth and uniform throughout. The thickness and the width does not change when you get down the perch. The perch stays the same. In the wild, birds perch on trees, which obviously have a lot of different sized branches. Birds are constantly flying from perch to perch and their feet are getting lots of exercise. Dowel perches like these, are not giving your bird's feet any exercise because the bird is standing in the same position all the time. If your bird is sitting on dowel perches for too long, especially if they only have dowel perches in their cage, they can develop pressure sores and an infection called bumblefoot on the bottom of their feet because they're always sitting in the same position. So instead of using dowel perches in your bird's cage, you wanna have a variety of perches. You wanna focus on natural wood perches, different types of wood, because it mimics the branches that birds sit on in the wild. Here I have a lot of different types of natural wood perches, and these are all different types of wood, and they all have different textures in their different sizes. One of my favorite types of wood perches are bottle brush perches, and I really love that they have bark on them for the bird to chew on, so it doubles as both a toy and a perch. You want perches that have a lot of variety in the branches. This one is a java wood perch, and as you can see, it has all types of twists and turns, and that gives your bird's feet a lot of exercise. So here are some more examples of natural wood perches in different styles and shapes. It's very important to get lots of different kinds so your bird has lots of surfaces to perch on. The next perch I'm gonna talk about is the rope perch. These are soft and bendable perches that are very comfortable for your bird's feet. This one is 32 inches, so it can go across the entire length of the cage. You do have to be careful with these perches and observe your bird. Some birds love to chew on these rope perches, and when they chew on them, the ropes and the threads can get frayed and untangled. And when there's lots of loose threads, the bird can get caught in them. I know that my birds don't tend to chew on rope perches because they don't get loose threads, so I feel safe leaving them in my bird's cages. But if your bird does chew on them, make sure to leave them on the outside of the cage so they don't get caught when you're not there. This right here is a flat perch or a platform perch. It gives their feet a break because it lets them sort of rest their feet flat. And this one attaches in the corner of the cage. I keep one of these in all of my bird's cages so they have an opportunity to sort of rest when their feet are tired. So now I'm going to take all these perches and put them inside the cage. So basically I scattered the perches all around the cage and left gaps between them because birds fly horizontally and not vertically. 
so the bird can fly through the entire length of the cage from perch to perch. It's also nice to put perches on the outside of your cage so when the bird comes out they can go straight to this perch. So next we're going to put in the food bowls. This is the food bowl that came with the cage. It's plastic as you can see and I don't like to use these because they can collect bacteria. What I use instead of plastic bowls are stainless steel bowls. These keep things clean a lot easier and they don't collect bacteria like plastic bowls. I bought this one but sometimes they actually come with the cages but the flight cages usually come with plastic ones. So in your cage you want to have three bowls. You want to have one for water, one for dry food and pellets, and one for vegetables, fresh foods, and chop. A super important part of setting up your bird's cage is including lots of toys. Birds need enrichment, lots of things to do while you're away. It's really important to have lots of different types of toys for your bird, and every bird is different when it comes to toys. In the wild, birds spend a lot of time foraging, shredding, chewing, and these bird toys help to mimic these behaviors to keep our birds occupied. A lot of the bird toys you'll find at pet stores are cheap and made of plastic, and those can be dangerous if your bird chews on them, and most birds actually don't really like to play with those. So what you want to look for are toys that are made of paper, wood, palm leaves, all kinds of natural materials that birds can pick apart and shred. Some toys can encourage your bird to climb, like ladders and toys like this, which are three rings and hang from the top of the cage. One of my favorite bird toys is this, which is called a bird kebab. It's made of yucca wood, and birds go crazy for it. They shred it into tiny pieces. Another thing that birds really love are these finger traps. These are little paper tubes, and they love it when you stuff millet in these. It makes an awesome foraging toy. They also love these basket toys, which are also great foraging toys. You can stick treats in these little holes. And this one also has finger traps, as well as crinkle paper, which they love to preen. You can also make DIY bird toys yourself with a little creativity. You also want to make sure that you rotate the toys frequently so your bird doesn't get bored of the same toys all the time. Now I'm going to go ahead and decorate this cage behind me with all of these toys and make it a really fun place for this little bird. There is one last thing that I need to put in this cage and that is this cuddle bone which is for giving them calcium and naturally trimming their beaks. It's done! One thing you don't want to put in your bird's cage is a happy hut or a snuggle hut. Now these are little beds that birds sleep in, but the birds view them as a nest. They can also ingest the fuzz and the fibers, or they can get caught in them. In your tray at the bottom of your cage, you just want to put some plain black and white newspaper. You don't need to go out and buy any kind of fancy litter or bedding. Plain newspaper will do just fine and it's free. So that is pretty much it for this video on how to set up a bird's cage. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned from this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned!